Welcome to Yellow Tunnel and Bar Chart. My name is Vlad Karpel. I'm CEO and founder of Yellow Tunnel. And today I'd like to go over NVIDIA earnings, which is going to happen on Wednesday and trends leading into the earnings. This is my brief bio. Disclosures are very important. Please read them. You can pause the screen if you need more time to read the disclosures. All right, let's jump into the idea. This is the earnings power trader where we show all of the liquid stocks that have earnings this week, NVIDIA is, uh, the earnings are on Wednesday after the close. Going into the earnings, you can see our model prediction, the, it's an uptrend. Our short term, it's been under pressure and it's trading at 140. But long term predictions going into the earnings are still bullish. If you look at the chart, uh, you can see kind of a sentient triangle breakout after the elections. And now it looks like a false breakout where it dipped a little bit below or at least trading right at the uh, June high and October high. So post-elections, Bitcoin, Nvidia, small caps are breaking to the upside and now they're pulling back and retesting the breakout. So going into the earnings on Wednesday, I think the implied volatility is that we're going to go through that shortly, implies 10% move. Uh, so we're either going to get to 150 a 160 level to the upside or we're probably going to take out the 50-day moving average um, or this um, ascending trend right so very important level i would look at 130 level the 50-day moving average or all-time highs so this is a traditional technical indicators going into the nvidia earnings uh, these are some of the other uh, uh, indexes that it makes sense to pay attention i would look at the qqq and underperformance of smh going into the event um, qqq already dipped below the breakout level after the elections and semiconductors are trading below 50-day moving average right at the 200-day moving average going into the earnings event on wednesday now what's important is to look at the distribution of possible outcomes gamma uh, chart, NVIDIA gamma exposure chart shows you where is high level of open interest and what are the gamma levels. Maybe definition of gamma is not so important if you're not familiar with that, but the idea of high open interest where buyers and sellers, right, the dealers and everybody else meet and trade, this can show you positive, where are the possible levels that the bulls and bears will meet. On one hand, I'm looking at the this Friday, next Friday, and then end of the year expiration, including January. Looking at the weekly options, you can see that one standard deviation move is about 8%. So somewhere between 8 to 10% implied volatility move based on the supply and demand for the options. And you can see very large open interest, very large gamut 150 strike implying $10 move, right? So somewhere between 150, 155, or 160, where the bulls and bears will meet based on the how strong are the earnings, if there's a positive outcome, right? Most likely the first step is 150, but if it's really good earnings, similar to Pelletier, where they just cannot meet the demand, then we can gravitate toward 150, 160. On the downside, you can see there's not a lot of hedges, right? There's not a lot of positioning at 135 or 130. So the doors are wide open to break through the 50-day moving average, if there are negative news. Today, there are negative news that uh, some of their chips are maybe overheated and they might delay some of the deliveries. So if that translates into the earnings call on Wednesday, you could quickly see a one standard deviation move to the downside where we could be trading at 130. Or if it's really bad, then you can have two standard deviation move where it can move closer to 20%. But then for somewhere between 7 and 8% move is the most likely outcome. You can also see volatility, implied volatility spikes into the earnings because of the uncertainty. But right after the earnings, then volatility subsides. You can also structure your trades where you trade calendar spreads or diagonals to take advantage of the spike in volatility going into the earnings. And finally, you can look at the expected move, right? Based on the weekly options data and monthly expiration, you can see the same information that by December, implied volatility move is 11%, and this week and next week is about 9%. And you can look at the, you know, some of the support and resistance levels that it can meet, right? Some of the extremes here, it's 120, 117 level would imply that we are moving 8% into the earnings. You can find more information by visiting bar chart.
to see some of these tools, or you can visit uh, Yellow Tunnel to see some of the uh, earnings information, some of the strategy to learn more if you're interested. Thank you very much for your attention, and um, I hope to see you soon. Thank you.